Naruto, God Level System Author, Blue Water God. Chapter 16 Los Hangren. Among the six ninjutsus, O'Neill Dundaiwu is a C-level ninjutsu, and the others are at least B-level ninjutsu, especially Tsunade's signature physique, strange power, and Yin Seal, an S-level sealing technique. To be honest, Rixianchen never thought that Tsunade would give these two techniques to himself. I'll think of a way in the future to repay Tsunade. Rixianchen gave him a wry smile. The gift that Tsunade gave him was so big that he was shocked. Wait until tomorrow to practice. I don't know how powerful I can be after I learn the magic technique. Weird power is an instantaneous burst of power. If he superimposes his physical skills and uses his armament color domineering power to strengthen his power, it will definitely be stronger than Tsunade. This is not an exaggeration at all. In terms of physical fitness, Hixianchen should be one point stronger than Tsunade which is an advantage. Although Chakra is not as pure as Tsunade, but it has the domineering power of armed, it can definitely be supplemented, and then the impact of the six style shaving of the navy or the speed of the glittering fruit can be added. It is no exaggeration to say that Rixianchen can overwhelm Tsunade head on. After resting for a night, after Rixianchen got up, he divided 50 shadow clones and asked them to practice ninjutsu. 50 shadow avatars are already the limit of Hyuga Chen. After letting the shadow avatars practice, Rixianchen came to the training ground of the Hyuga family. The training ground of the Hyuga's family is very large, and everyone from the entire Hyuga's family came here to practice, and it was very spacious. And there are thousands of people in the Hyuga family, so you can imagine how big the training ground of the Hyuga family is. Yo! Hyuga Tepanyaki, why don't you play ninja games? You are training here. As soon as he came to the training ground, Rixianchen met an acquaintance and went over to say hello with a smile. Humphrey, now I don't play those ninja games anymore. I want to become a real ninja. Have ambition, I'm optimistic about you. Rixianchen said with a smile. To say that the Hyuga Tepan family is also a powerful character, the name is so powerful. He also has an older brother called Hyuga Steel, and his father is called Hyuga Aloy. Just by looking at the name, you can see how hard it is. Even if Rixianchen wants to beat them, he has to change his name to Rixianchen, so that he can overwhelm them. The young patriarch is here. Hello. Young Patriarch. The young Patriarch is so handsome. I really want to marry him. This is what a man said. Horrible. Humphrey. A group of people who tend to be inflamed. Compared to Rick Siangchen, I really don't think he is handsome. Hyuga Rizza walked to the training ground with a stern face, exclaimed to the crowd, and showed a calm appearance. He was only five years old, and he put on a serious face. In short, Hyuga Rizza's style is very high, and it caused exclamations as soon as it came. Some people wanted to flatter him and some people were unhappy with the appearance of Hyuga Hizu. In short, the whole training ground was immediately lively. Even those Junin and Shangnan, who saw Hyuga Hizu, would also greet him and salute him. Because Hyuga Hizu was already the appointed patriarch in the future, everyone respected him very much. When my father-in-law was young, he was quite handsome. No wonder he gave birth to a beautiful girl like Hinata Hinata, and a little Lili like Hinata Hana. Haixi Anchen said secretly, Hizu, your younger brother, Hyuga is coming. Why didn't he come with you? Rixiang Rizu frowned, then looked at Rixiangchen, snorted coldly, and left without answering. He has no good feelings for Rixiangchen, a clan of impure blood that embarrassed Rixiang's family, and even because of his sense of responsibility, he is more unhappy with Rixiangchen than others. Looking at Rixiang Rizu who turned his head and left, Rixiangchen touched his nose. What's your arrogance? Let's see if I won't abduct your daughter away and the two of you will be kidnapped together. We'll see if you can get cocky in the future. Rixianchen whispered. If Rixiang Rizu knew that Rixianchen was thinking about his daughter now, needless to say, even if he tried his best, he would also make Rixianchen look good. I'm only five years old and haven't grown up yet. If you are a pervert, you only care about your daughter and don't hit anyone. Hyuga Hizu walked in front of a specially made human stake, made a soft boxing gesture in his hand, and a yin yang ji diagram enveloped the stake. Soft boxing technique. 8 trigrams 16 palms. 16 palms in a row were hit on the stake, and precisely at the position of each acupuncture point of the stake in the human body. It's amazing. It's worthy of being a powerful patriarch. At a young age, I can play 16 gossip palms. I'm already in my 20s, and I can only play 32 gossip palms. The patriarch is extremely talented, and he will definitely lead our Hyuga family to become the number one Konoha family. One of them said, after hearing this, Rixianchen turned his head and glanced at him. He was right. The Hyuga family was indeed the first Konoha family at the beginning of the plot. But this can't be taken off. The Hyuga family is the hat of the Hokage number one soy sauce family. To be honest, in the later stages of the Hyuga family, all of them were scouts, and Nejai, who could fight, still died, and claimed to be the pupil family that kept pace with the Yuakaiha family. Rixianchen felt a pain in his face. If it weren't for the system, Rixianchen would definitely leave the Hyuga family and find refuge on a remote island because the Hyuga family is really weak, at least compared to the big bosses behind, it's very weak. Without a system, 
relying on one's own ability, it is simply wishful thinking to get a tensigan, and Rick Xiangchen is still a bit overwhelming. He knew he had no system, nothing. It can be said that when you come to the world of Hokage, you basically don't want to go to the top without a plug-in. After walking around the training ground and seeing his further-in-law's husband, Rick Xiangchen, Rick Xiangchen quietly left. Except for the women of the Hai Yuga family who have been paying attention to Rick Xiangchen, no one has noticed Rick Xiangchen's departure at all. Back at home, Rick Xiangchen thought about it, and then opened the system mall. Looking at the ninjutsu above and looking at the exchange point in his hand, Rick Xiangchen hesitated. By accumulating exchange points like this, even if you accumulate them until the finale of Hokage, you won't be able to buy good things, so just choose them now. Then Rick Xiangchen bought the three body technique and the instant body technique, and spent 8,000 exchange points. The three body technique cost a total of 3,000 exchange points, and the instant body technique spent 5,000 exchange points leaving 51,000 points, thousands of exchange points. This thousand exchange points makes me a bit uncomfortable with this obsessive compulsive disorder, so I just spend it. After spending a thousand exchange points, I bought a delicate kunai, which is sharper than the kunai on the market. For the remaining 50,000, Rick Xiangchen purchased a basic swordsmanship mastery. He can use the glittering fruit to create the Tan Kanyanjian. If he doesn't understand a bit of swordsmanship, wouldn't he be wasting this ability? After accepting the mastery of basic swordsmanship, the basic moves of swordsmanship all appeared in Rick Xiangchen's mind. Chapter 17 Admission Although basic swordsmanship proficiency is basic, the strength increase it brings to Rick Xiangchen is huge. It can be said that in Hokage now, when it comes to basic swordsmanship, Rick Xiangchen can definitely be ranked first. After a month of training, Rick Xiangchen completely turned the basic swordsmanship into his own and showed his own characteristics. The characteristics of Rick Xiangchen's swordsmanship are speed and strength. He doesn't play any fancy things with you at all when he goes up. He just chops, which is simple and rude. This also brought the advantages of Rick Xiangchen's strength and speed into full play, making it the most suitable swordsmanship for Rick Xiangchen. And this month has passed, the ninja school is about to start, and Hai Xiangchen is this new student. Put on a black strong suit, tie all the lead weights to the body, and then put on a black imperial robe outside. After pushing the door open, Hai Xiangchen walked in the direction of the ninja school. Along the way, I also met many parents who took their children to the ninja school. This little guy is so handsome. Is he also a freshman at this ninja school? Isn't this Chen? I didn't expect you to be so handsome today. I almost didn't recognize you. When you get to school, you can definitely fascinate a group of little girls. Thank you Uncle Yuan for your compliment. Rick Xiangchen responded with a smile. Although he was dressed in black, Rick Xiangchen was not cold at all. Soon I came to the ninja school, and at this time, the ninja school was already full including parents and freshmen. Rick Xiangchen found a place, sat down, and quietly watched the rioting school training ground. Maybe more than ten years later, this scene will also be a good memory. Rick Xiangchen had a smile on his face, full of affinity. With a handsome face, I don't know how many little girls are moved by it, with pink beach hearts in her eyes, looking at the handsome Rick Xiangchen, showing the eyes of Nympho. And those little boys looked at Rick Xiangchen unhappily, with blazing flames in their eyes, and were very unhappy with Rick Xiangchen who stole their limelight as soon as he appeared. TSK TSK. This is the legendary eye and jealous eye. It's really amazing. I admire it. I admire it. Feeling the eyes full of love, as well as the eyes full of killing intent, burning incomparably hot, Rick Xiangchen whispered. Suddenly, Rick Xiangchen's shoulder was patted. Rick Xiangchen was not surprised. He turned to Tsunade and said, Sister Tsunade, how did you recognize me? Chen, I found out you weren't surprised at all. Did you already know that I was behind you? Tsunade asked suspiciously. She didn't make a sound just now. Of course I feel it, Rick Xiangchen said with a smile. Tsunade gave Rick Xiangchen a deep look, and then stopped asking. Everyone has everyone's secrets, and she didn't want to explore them. I really feel it, and thank you Tsunade's sister for giving me ninjutsu. This is for you. Rick Xiangchen took out the manuscript of the six naval styles, as well as the domineering and the training methods of the armed arrogance. Dot. This is? Tsunade took it suspiciously, and opened it. Tsunade did not finish reading it after a long time and then handed it back to Rick Xiangchen with a solemn expression. Chen, I don't know where you got it from, but you put it away and don't expose it. Tsunade, who has been carefree, has a surprisingly serious face. Rick Xiangchen didn't take it, and grinned, revealing two rows of big white teeth. This is the gift I gave to your sister. If you don't accept it, you will look down on me. It is Hai Xiangchen's style to repay virtue with virtue and remorse with resentment. Hai Xiangchen is not a good person. But if Tsunade can give himself the most important ninjutsu, it is enough for Hai Xianchen to remember it for a lifetime. Whoever treats me with sincerity, I will treat her with sincerity. Tsunade opened his mouth, looked at Rick Xianchen's somewhat unhappy face, and put it away. Thank you Xio Chen, I will never pass these moves to other people. Tsunade said moved. Although she only looked at it roughly, 
she could see the value in it. The first is the six naval styles, each of which is at least no lower than a ninjutsu, and the domineering and armed domineering are definitely S-rank secret techniques, or even higher. Rick Xianchen smiled, and then reminded, Sister Tsunade, if you want to learn these physical skills, you must endure hardship. With your current physical fitness, it is very difficult to use it. Being able to use those powerful physical skills is nothing if you suffer a little. The Navy Sixth Form was an eye-opener for Tsunade, shaved fast movement, moon step flight, finger spear and languid attack, as well as iron block and paper painting defense, it can be said to be the most comprehensive. And seeing and hearing is domineering, after learning it, it is the best reconnaissance ninja, and can also predict the enemy's attack. Armor domineering. The most widely used domineering among the three color domineering, not to mention defensive ability. But abnormal amplification ability, can make Tsunade's strength skyrocket several times. Thank you, Xio Chen. Tsunade didn't ask how these physical skills came from. Since Rixianchen believed her and gave her these physical skills, she still asked what they were doing. Sister, I'm here, I'm here. Just when Hai Xianchen wanted to speak, he interrupted him with a loud shout. Hai Xianchen and Tsunade looked at the place where the voice came from. Sister Tsunade. Could it be the Thousand Hand Nawaki? Rixianchen thought secretly. Tsunade's next words also confirmed Hai Xianchen's guess. Nawaki, you idiot, what the are you yelling about? Tsunade looked at Nawaki dissatisfied. Hey, who is he? Could it be that your elder sister eats tender grass? Sheng Shu said with a wretched expression. Bump. The Nawaki fell to the ground, its head buried in the ground, and its limbs swayed constantly. How could I have you stupid brother? Tsunade's face flashed an imperceptible blush, and then angrily retracted his fist. Rixianchen looked at Nawaki. The corners of his mouth twitched, this guy is here to be funny. It took a lot of strength to pull out the head, and then complained, they said don't hit me in the head, if I'm stupid, it's all yours. I think you're already stupid now. Rixianchen complained in his heart, but he didn't expect Nawaki to be so stupid, and he really looked like Naruto. One has the halo of the protagonist, the other is just a trick, and it is tragic to say it. Two people with similar personalities are treated completely differently. Chapter 18 Same Table Uakai Hamikoto After a little funny, under the introduction of Tsunade, Haik Xianchen and Sanju Roshu also knew each other, and Kai Ainzu Roshu is a familiar character. He came over and patted Rick Xianchen on the shoulder and said, Don't worry, I will cover you after you enter the school. Okay, when I'm in trouble, I will definitely find you. Don't regret what you said now. Rick Xianchen's face was full of smiles. I want to become a Hokage. Of course I have to do what I say. Sanju Roshu patted his chest and said, When the new students who entered this school were almost there, the three-generation old man appeared on the podium. Now it can't be said to be a three-generation old man. The current three-generation Hokage is in his prime, and his strength is at its peak, at least the strength of the peak of the shadow level. Walking to the podium, Sarutobi hasn't started a long speech, starting from the creation of Konoa village by the first Hokage Senju Hashimi. Talking about the prosperity of Konoa and the turmoil in other Shinobi villages, the conclusion is that Konoa is harmonious and peaceful, and other Shinobi villages are turbulent. Then I talked about how bad other ninja villages were how good Konoa was, how Konoa's spirit, the will of fire, how powerful the first Hokage and the second Hokage were, and so on. I hope you will grow into powerful ninjas and guard Konoa ninja village. In the future, one of you may be the next Hokage. Where the leaves are flying, the fire will continue to grow, the fire will continue to illuminate the village and make the new leaves sprout. This is the will of fire of our Konoa, which has been passed down since the first generation, and I hope you can continue to continue to convey it and it will live on and on. Sarutobi Hizan's words made these children who had just entered school listened with enthusiasm and excitement, especially the thousand hand Nawaki next to Rixianchen. His blood was burning, and he almost accidentally crushed an egg. Rixianchen was so drowsy listening to it that he didn't listen to it at all. He had listened to too many speeches like this, and he couldn't get up at all. Moreover, the will of fire is a selfless spirit, which is not suitable for Rixianchen at all. Even Rixianchen and the will of fire are walking on two opposite paths. What Rixianchen is convinced is that people are not for themselves, and the world will be punished. To put it bluntly, it is selfish. When he came out, the people that Rixianchen cared about, even the people of Konoa village, died in front of him, and he wouldn't blink. He was so selfish and indifferent. So don't look at Rixianchen with a smile every day, but behind his smile, he is colder than anyone else. The personalities of Rixianchen and Aizen are very similar. The difference is that Rixianchen does not have Aizen's ambition, nor does Aizen do that. When I came to Naruto world, I got the help of the system, and Rixianchen never thought of dominating the ninja world and ruling the world. What he yearns for more is to sit with a group of beauties without shame and shame every day, to sit and watch the situation rise and smile at the changes of the world. Xio Chen, you seem to be not very interested in the old man's speech. Seeing Rixianchen yawning constantly, 
Tsunade behind Rick Siangchen said something. Sister Tsunade isn't interested either. Rick Siangchen also replied. This kind of thing has been said hundreds of times, and I'm tired of hearing it. Tsunade looked bored. Xiao Chen, don't change the subject. Rick Siangchen smiled when he heard the words, and then said, The true will of fire has not been implemented by anyone except the first generation, so the will of fire has disappeared with the first generation, and maybe one day, it will appear again. Tsunade frowned, then thoughtfully. She also somewhat agreed with Rick Siangchen's words. Tsunade has a very good understanding of the internal situation of Konoa, and the contradictions between the various families are constant. In this way, the will of fire is more like a joke. Rick Siangchen scoffed at the will of fire. It may look very beautiful, but this is a beautiful fantasy, unless the entire Konoa is a thousand-handed column, use you Maki Naruto. Otherwise, the will of fire can only be talked about forever, or the will of fire is only suitable for a few people. It took a whole morning for Saruto Bihazan to finish speaking. At this time, Haik Siangchen finally breathed a sigh of relief, and then showed admiration. Rick Siangchen really admired him for talking all morning without stopping, but looking at the blood-burning ninja students around, I have to say that this brainwashing was very successful. This is the end of the morning. After lunch, the school is divided into classes. Everyone brought a bento to find a place to eat. And of course Rick Siangchen also brought it. But when Rick Siangchen took out his stool, Kai Ain Zuroshu swallowed and asked with difficulty, Can you finish this much? Regarding the question of Kai Zhu Roshu, Rick Siangchen just smiled, bowed his head and started to fight with him. Actions can prove everything. Tsunade smiled at this. After watching the sixth form of the navy, she also knew why Rick Siangchen could eat so much. Rick Siangchen's bento not only shocked Nawaki, but even the surrounding children and accompanying parents expressed their shock. For these eyes, Rick Siangchen turned a blind eye and walked his own way, why should he care about other people's eyes? After eating the bento, the school teacher started to assign classes, and soon read the name of Rick Siangchen, and he was assigned to class A. And he also heard some familiar names, such as the three pig deer butterflies, the two brothers Hizu and Riza, the fourth generation of Hokage Nami Feng Minato, Yuikai Hamikoto, Sanju Roshu and others. Going to class A with Sanju Noki, Tsunade has now left. When they came to class A, there were not many people yet. Kai Ain Zirosha pulled Rick Siangchen and said, Chen, let's do it together. No, I like a person. Rick Siangchen directly rejected Kai Ain Zunawaki, which disappointed Kai Ain Zunawaki, but did not force it. However, after refusing Nawaki, Haik Siangchen approached Yua Kai Hamikota very unscrupulously. Kai Ain Zirosha looked at Rick Siangchen resentfully. This is the person you like. Seeing Kai Ain Zunawaki's eyes, Rick Siangchen felt a little chilly. This Kai Ain Zunawaki would not be gay, turning his head and not looking at the Senjunawaki. He then said to Yuikai Hamikoto, My name is Haik Siangchen, and I will be your roommate in the future. Please give me more advice. Yuikai Hamikoto looked at Hayuka Chen Jr.'s unparalleled face, with a hint of blush on her cheeks, and replied in a low voice, My name is Yuikai Hamikoto, nice to meet you, Haik Siangchen classmate. Mikoto just call me Chen, otherwise it will be too unfamiliar. Rick Siangchen said almost. Mikoto's face turned even redder. She had to know that she could only call her by her first name if she had a very good relationship, or if she was a relative. At this time, the advantages of her appearance and the attractiveness of the opposite are obvious. Mikoto's lack of anger can explain everything. After that, I'll ask Chen Duojuo for advice. Mikoto said in a gentle voice, enduring the shyness in her heart. P.S. Don't care about people of different ages. Why are they classmates? They are the same age. In the setting of this book, chapter 19 there is the opposite and no humanity. Rick Siangchen. Seeing Mikoto's gentle and watery appearance, Haik Siangchen smiled, as expected of the Naruto world, the most suitable role to be a wife. Although Yuakaiha Mikoto doesn't make many appearances, her popularity is still not low. Like this Yamato Nadiko, Haik Siangchen naturally likes it. Rick Siangchen has already decided that Mikoto will be his person in the future, and Yuakaiha Fuayu, this waste. Go and off by yourself. As for whether Yuakaiha Atachi and Erzuzi will be born in the future, does this have anything to do with Haik Siangchen? To be honest, Rick Siangchen doesn't catch a cold with a so called Atachi god, not why, just because the two of them are two way people. A person who has great love and loves the village more than anything, except Sasuke, but Haik Siangchen is extremely selfish, and he only cares about the people he should care about. Therefore, Rick Siangchen is not interested in this very popular character. Rick Siangchen will not deny that what he does is wrong nor will he think that he is right. This is a conflict of ideas. Two people with different personalities will have different definitions of one thing. Anyway, Rick Siangchen will not sacrifice himself and his relatives for other irrelevant people. If you have a big heart, you can accommodate the world. My heart is too small, and can only accommodate the people I should accommodate. I don't even have a good impression of Yuakaiha Atachi, 
let alone Sasuke Kyokaika. This guy has no good feelings for Hikes Yangchen. Why are you staring at me all the time? Mikoto said angrily. Of course it's because you're beautiful. I think you've seen that you can't help yourself. From the time I saw you, you've stole my heart. Rex Yangchen said with an exaggerated expression. Mikoto's face turned red all of a sudden. Mikoto turned her head and stared ahead in a distracted way, not daring to look at Rex Yangchen again. Rex Yangchen still looked at Mikoto recklessly, making Mikoto's heart beat faster. However, Yuikaiha Mikoto did not reject this, but was a little bit delighted. Chen, you are a guy of the opposite and inhumane. Seeing that the atmosphere between Haik Xianchen and Yuikaiha Mikoto became more ambiguous, Sanju Roshu stood up and said, Sheng Shu, you can't say that. Sitting with you is not as comfortable as sitting with a beautiful woman, and you see that you are at the same table. You are not also a handsome guy. It will definitely satisfy your taste. Don't stare at me. Rex Xianchen stretched out his finger and pointed at Sanju Roshu's table mate and Kai Ainzi Roshu's table mate was the fourth Hokage wave Fenga Minato. What? Nawaki looked confused. Although Hokage's children are generally precocious, they are still children, so naturally they don't know the meaning of Haik Xianchen's words. I mean, I don't like men, you can find someone else. Rick Xianchen said expressionlessly. I don't like men either. Sheng Shu shouted angrily. Really? That may be my misunderstanding. However, he said the misunderstanding, but there was a look of disbelief on his face. Nawaki angrily wanted to explain but there was no way to explain. And Minato Minato, who was lying innocently with a gun, looked stunned, and subconsciously moved away from the Nawaki. If it wasn't for the fear of rope's anger, Minato Minato would want to change his position. Now that there are only a few people in the class, it's not that there is no place. Humphrey, wait, I'm going to tell my sister that you're having an affair outside. Kai Ains Hashingshu sat down angrily. Rixianchen was unmoved and continued to tease the blushing Yuikaiha Mikoto. Mikoto's face was so hot right now that she could boil legs. Mikoto, you are really shy. The classmates are here. If you bully me again, I will ignore you. Mikoto replied with a blushing face. Rixianchen also knew that enough was enough, otherwise it would be bad to leave a bad impression on Mikoto. Seeing that Haixianchen really stopped teasing herself, Yuikaiha Mikoto was a little disappointed. With the passage of time, the students of class also arrived one after another, such as, the trio of pigs deer and butterflies, the Hinata brothers, and in use you cars you owe, etc. Seeing Rixi Angchen, Hayuga Reaper showed a touch of anger. And then quickly hid, for fear of being discovered by Rixi Angchen and beating him up. Now, because of being beaten up several times, Hayuga Reaper is already afraid of Hayuga Chen. Hayuga Hizu glanced at Rixi Angchen, and then sat down with Hayuga Reaper. Rixi Angchen shrugged, then lay on the table, seemingly sleeping but was actually purifying the chakra in his body. What did you say? Sheng Shu stood up angrily. I said that everyone in this class should obey Ken Yuikaiha. Arrogant young man with a Yuikaiha family crest on his back was confronting Rouge. In the entire class, the atmosphere was extremely solemn. Whether it was a civilian or a student from the family, they all looked at Ken Yuikaiha with a bad expression. Among them, Hayuga Hizu and Sanju Roshu were the most reactive. The hatred between Kai Ainzu and Yuikaiha has a long history and it is no longer something that can be adjusted by a few words. The Hinata family and the Yuakaiha family are known as the two major pupil families in the ninja world, and who is the strongest between these two families has also attracted everyone's attention. Therefore, the two families are also full of gunpowder smell, and the Yuakaiha family is now Konoa's guard team, which is a good job and a chore. If it is smooth and smooth, this is a good job, and it can make the major families owe some favors to themselves. But the Yuakaiha family is the face of Longhutan, in this kind of position that must be smooth. They are more hanging than anyone else. They catch this and that from time to time. The entire Konoa family has been offended again and again. In the eyes of Konoa civilians, the Yuakaiha family is not a good thing, and they have no good impression of them. To put it badly, the Yuakaiha family is stinky right now. Wherever you put it, there are people who dislike it. No one likes to deal with a clan that is so arrogant and doesn't look down on anyone. They don't look down on you anymore. Are you still looking at it? No one is so rude. So this dragon set Yuakaiha can is really cheap and he will offend a large number of people when he comes up. Even Rixi Angchen, who was lying on the table and kept purifying chakra, couldn't help but raised his head and watched the scene with interest. Looking at the fiery crowd, Rixi Angchen doesn't mind adding more fire, who makes this fellow Rixi Angchen also unhappy. Do you know this guy? Rixi Angchen patted Mikoto on the shoulder and asked. Mikoto blushed first, and then whispered, He is a genius of our Yuakaiha family, but he acts very arrogantly, and he is also the grandson of the chief elder qualified to compete for the position of the patriarch. No wonder I dare to be arrogant. It turns out that there is still some backing, Rixi Anchen said with a smile. Yeah, he bullies people all day long, and is very annoying. Even within the Yukaiha family, he is not welcome. After speaking, even the gentle girl Mikoto showed a trace of disgust. Chapter 20 Gang Fight Yukaiha Ken Looking at the scene where Gwen stared and didn't start fighting, Rixi Anchen felt a little boring. Looking at Mikoto, you hate this guy too, 
I'll teach him a lesson. After saying to Mikoto, Rick Xiangchen was about to stand up. Mikoto hurriedly stretched out her hand to pull him, and then said anxiously, Chen, please don't go. Although he is very annoying, he is not weak, and he is a real genius. Oh? Is Mikoto caring about me? Hai Xiangchen looked at Yua Kai Ha Mikoto with affectionate eyes. I, I. Mikoto's face was extremely rosy, like a big apple, so people couldn't help but take a bite. Don't worry. Rick Xiangchen patted Mikoto's little hand and stood up. I said Sun Tzu. I don't think you are qualified to be the young patriarch at all. Rick Xiangchen's words attracted everyone's attention, all of them staring at Rick Xiangchen, especially Hayuga Hizu, although the pure white eyes can't see anything, but everyone still sees his anger on his expression. What did you say? I'm so angry. I think you're a quail. He was about to ride on your face just now. You didn't dare to make a sound. You were scared to think about the quivering quail. What are you pretending to do with me now? You became the young patriarch only because you were a clan, otherwise you would be nothing. Rick Xiangchen said a word disdainfully which completely ignited the anger of Rick Xiang Hizu. You said that I'm afraid of him? Kanata said angrily, pointing at Ken Yukaika. Yes, if you are not afraid of him, you can beat him to prove yourself. Rick Xiang Chen nodded. Okay, I'll let you today know why I became the young patriarch. Hayuga Hizu picked up the chakra, slapped the table, and walked towards Yukaika Ken. TSK TSK. This table didn't provoke you, and it turned out to be your punching bag. I really feel sorry for it. Rick Xiang Chen said with his arms crossed. I, Hayuga Hizu, want to challenge you. Do you dare to accept it? Hayuga Hizu said in a cold voice. Why don't you dare? I want you to know that the white eyes of your Hayuga clan are worthless in front of our Yuakaiha clan's writing round eyes. Yuakaiha Ken said arrogantly. Yuakaiha Takeshi's words completely annoyed Hayuga and Hizu. He attached great importance to the glory of the Hayuga family. I said your name is Ken Yuakaiha. You said that a white eye is worthless in front of a Sharanian. Could it be that you have Sharatan now? Rick Xianchen said with a smile. Yuakaiha Ken was at a loss for words, and then said angrily. I can step on your garbage under my feet even if I don't rely on the shackles. This sentence completely angered everyone. If it wasn't for Naro Shikaku pulling, Yamanaka Kaiji and Akito Dingzo would have stood up. Sheng Shu, look at his arrogance, can you still bear it? Let's beat him together. There is a saying that the law does not blame the public. Rick Xianchen added another fire. When Sun Xianchen ignited, Hayuga's feet were already on, and he slapped Ken Yukai out with a slap. The Nawaki couldn't bear it anymore, and went up and punched Ken Yukai in the face who had not gotten up yet. Seeing Hayuga Hizu and Noki's actions, plus the fact that Hayuga Tatsu said the law is not to blame. The entire class A, except Hayuga Tatsu, Yuikai Hamikoto, Namikaze Minato, and Naro Shikohiza, all rushed up. Haixianchen watched this scene with a smile. In fact, when it came to fighting, it was Hayuga Hizu, who could also be obedient to Yuikaiha's education. Although the Hayuga family is a soy sauce family, at the age of five, there are basically no people who can beat the Hayuga family, because at this time, Except for super geniuses, no one knows ninjutsu at all, so everyone basically relies on taijutsu at this time. The Hayuga family, as a taijutsu family, has an advantage, not to mention that even if they know ninjutsu, the seal will not be formed very quickly, and it will be interrupted before you finish the seal. If you do this, it will definitely arouse the dissatisfaction of the Yuakaiha family. Why do you do this? Nara Shukahizu asked, looking at the calm Haik Xiangchen, although Rik Xiangchen didn't do it. Rick Xianchen was the initiator. No reason, I just want to do something. Rick Xianchen folded his arms to watch the show. If the strength is not enough, Rick Xianchen will definitely not jump like this, but now Rick Xianchen's strength is not weak, and he is already qualified to jump. This is Konoa Shinobi village, and even the Yuakaiha clan is dissatisfied with him and will not do anything to him. Not to mention that through Mikoto's conversation, Hai Xianchen also knows that the Yuakaiha clan is not in harmony. This Yuakaiha Takeshi is a competitor of the next generation of the patriarch, and he is definitely not in harmony with the patriarch, so it is not certain whether someone will come to trouble Rick Xiangchen. What's going on? Stop me. Everyone stopped, looked towards the door, and quickly returned to their seats. What is going on? Wayno Shiri, the teacher of class A, pointed at the miserable Takeshi Yuakaiha. At this time, Yuakaiha Ken had already fainted, and the teacher Wayno Shiri checked and found that it was only a skin injury, and the injury was not serious, and he was relieved. If this is really serious injury, he, the teacher, will have to take responsibility, but on the first day of school, such a bad incident happened, which still made him angry. Everyone who participated just now stood up, but I saw them all, you can't hide it from me. Wayno Shiri's face was extremely serious. After Wayno Shiri finished speaking, most of the whole class stood up, only Hayuga Tatsu, Yuikai Hamikoto, Naro Shikohiza, and Namikaze Minato were still sitting peacefully. At this time, everyone focused their attention on Rick Xiangchen. Look at what I'm doing. I didn't do anything. Rick Xiangchen said innocently. Shameless. So shameless. He obviously instigated it, but now he pretends to be nothing, 
making everyone hated. Wayne Oshiri looked at these people and was a little worried. This class is almost all children from big families, and it is not easy to manage at all. You all give me a penalty stand. The angry Wayne Oshiri could only make such a punishment. Teacher, all this was provoked by Rick Siangchen. You can't let him go. Rick Siangchen touched his chin feeling that he had taught too little lesson to Rick Siang. Who is Rick Siangchen? Wei no Shiri growled. Then, in Makoto's worried eyes, Rick Siangchen stood up helplessly. You also go out together. Although he was very surprised to see that Rick Siangchen didn't roll his eyes, but the angry Wei no Shiri couldn't control that much. Teacher, Chen didn't participate. Yuakai and Makoto stood up and wanted to plead for Hai Siangchen. It looks like you have a good relationship, so let's go out with him and punish him. After speaking, he left with the unconscious Yuakai Haken. He just checked it roughly and he didn't know what the injury was. It would be better to send it to the medical department. Thank for listening this audiobook. Please subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.